I'm Mike Mahoney and I'm from Elite Podcasting Academy. Thanks for joining me today. So today I want to talk to you about a very important process. It's very important for you to prepare before recording your podcast. Now there are many things that go into getting ready for recording your podcast episode. It doesn't matter if it's your first episode or just one of many. You need to prepare by getting into a pre-recording routine and that's what I'm going to help you with today. If you're going to be doing an interview, there are things you need to prepare beforehand in order for that interview to go smoothly. You're going to want information about your guest's background. You will need to send them a link with the right date and time, and you should test your recording equipment to be sure it is working properly. Some podcasters need little to no time to prepare, while others need some extensive time to prepare as to clear the cobwebs. Fatigue, a lack of comfort, distractions, and a disruption of routine can all lead to poor podcasting performance. Now, these tips that I'm about to give you may not be exactly what you need to get in your podcast groove and prepare for a great recording, but you might get a few ideas of some new things to try if you just don't feel comfortable what yet. These 21 tips can not only help you in your podcasting, but can also aid in improving overall mental and physical health. Check it out and see which ones help you. So, 21 tips to prepare your podcasting recording. First thing is, drink a coffee for increased energy. Now, keep in mind that coffee contains high amounts of caffeine. Caffeine can act as a stimulant. It increases alertness and endurance during exercise and other activities. However, too much caffeine may act as a diuretic and affect sleep patterns. The European Food Safety Authority recommends limiting daily caffeine consumption to a maximum of 400 milligrams. A cup of filtered coffee typically contains around 90 milligrams, while an espresso contains 80 milligrams of caffeine. Now, caffeine boosts the effects of serotonin, dopamine, and acetylcholine. Dopamine, for example, is known to affect levels of concentration. This means that coffee can help you prepare before a recording because it will increase your concentration levels dramatically, giving you the focus you need to turn in a great podcasting performance. Now, you can also take a walk to clear your mind. Sometimes, when we prepare to record, we find that we are experiencing some stress, and taking a walk outside in the fresh air has been shown to dramatically reduce stress levels. Physical activity directly supports stress reduction by encouraging the release of hormones called endorphins that are linked to happiness. Indirectly going for a walk can give you a sense of escaping to a quiet environment, or at least to an environment where no demands are being placed on you. You'll likely find that your stress levels begin to diminish as you walk. You could make a list of talking points. When you prepare for a speech, you've likely been advised to create an outline. Now the same thing goes for when you prepare for a podcast recording. Prepare some talking points to make it easier for you to make it through the show without any problems. If you do it right and get into a habit, the list of talking points you prepare can later be used as the outline for your show notes. This will cut the time it takes to prepare show notes for each episode. Now, the next thing you could do is just call a friend on the phone. Many times just talking to someone else gets the communication juices flowing. You may also find a side benefit being a reduction in stress. You might even mention to the friend what the topic of your soon to be recorded show is because a discussion like that is likely to give you some ideas for the show itself. A simple phone call to that friend may not seem like a great way to prepare for recording an episode, but give it a try. You may just be surprised at how well it works. The other thing you can do is declutter your workspace. If you prepare by taking the time to neaten up your workspace, you've already managed to increase your focus. Now studies show that decluttering your workspace has many benefits. You become more comfortable. Your confidence is increased. You get a feeling of accomplishment. Your creative juices are allowed to flow again. All these things are great when you need to prepare for your next episode and it will help you have a great performance. Now, how about you go to the gym? to get the blood pumping. Take a moment to hit the gym. You will melt off the stress you've been feeling and you'll get your blood pumping. This will make you more mentally alert and ready to give a great performance on your show. 
Studies show your level of alertness increases after a very intense gym session. That's why so many people, like me, enjoy working out immediately upon working at waking up. Now, you could also meditate or take some quiet time. As you prepare for your next episode, consider trying meditation or quiet time. People who regularly practice meditation may improve their mental focus by altering brain function. Compared to non-meditators, they may be better equipped to quiet brain activity related to mind wandering, and a new study in the Journal of Neuroscience suggests that this is the case. This may come as good news, considering the buzz on our increasingly shrinking attention spans. Now, the study by Italian neuroscientist Giuseppe Pagoni found that meditation not only changes brain patterns, but it also confers advantages in mental focus that may improve cognitive performance. These kinds of tweaks will give you the focus you need to turn in an amazing podcast performance. It also reduces stress and anxiety, things you may feel from time to time when you prepare to record an episode. How about you read a relevant article? As you prepare for your next episode, read an article that's related to the topic of the episode. You may very well find inspiration from that article that will carry you through the episode. I personally find this tip to be one of the better ones. When I read an article about any show topic I'm about to do, it triggers ideas that I may not have consciously realized. It ties up some loose ends that may be lurking in my brain. This also increases my focus for the topic. How about you watch a relevant YouTube video? As with any article, uh, you gotta find things that are relevant, and a relevant YouTube video on the topic of your episode is an excellent way to prepare. The contents presented in the video may very well give you inspiration. You'll also be able to bone up on your facts before the show, and that's gonna give you that extra confidence that you're gonna need going into the recording of that episode. You can also journal your thoughts. I do this all the time. Journaling is a great way to get your thoughts out and give them some thought. If you prepare by taking the time to write your thoughts out, you will be able to get ready for your next episode by analyzing those thoughts. Writing your thoughts in a journal will help you clarify what you want to say about the topic. It will mean that you have already processed the topic in your mind and you won't have to do that on the fly as you record the podcast. This is going to definitely improve your confidence. I promise you. Now, you could go for a run. It's much like hitting the gym. Going for a run is another great way to prepare. Running improves your physical and mental health, and it also alleviates any stress that you may be experiencing. Many experts consider exercise to be the closest thing to a miracle drug. There are extensive benefits physically and mentally you get from exercising. The renewed focus and energy you will feel will help you with your episode. How about you take a moment of silence? Stop for a moment and take five minutes to just be silent. Let your stress melt away. Think only about your topic and push other things out of your mind. Make sure you allow your soul to quiet down during this time. You will find that there is a renewed focus that you feel. You may even feel sharper and more clear thinking. The bottom line is you will be ready to give a great performance if you prepare this way. Calm breathing. I have an app on my phone that helps me with breathing. Take a moment to take 30 deep breaths. Your brain will react to deep breathing by telling your body to relax. Deep breathing is the fastest way to relax. Focused deep breaths will get you ready to podcast. You will be Feel the creative juices that were stagnant. You could listen to chill music. Listening to some smooth jazz or possibly some classical will put you in the right frame of mind if you started out tense and distracted. The music's going to transform your energy and your focus, and you're going to feel like a brand new person. If you're like me, you're going to want to listen to some hype music. If you're feeling sluggish, listening to some hype music will get you pumped up and energized. You will be ready to take on the world after you hear some hyped up tunes. How about you adjust the room temperature? Your environment impacts your productivity. This is known and it's a fact. It includes the temperature of the room you're in. 
cold environment will negatively impact productivity. An awesome study from Cornell examined exactly that, coming to a frightening conclusion. They tested different office temperatures at a large Florida insurance company, and they found that when the temperatures were low, 68 degrees or 20 degrees Celsius, employees made 44% more mistakes than at optimal room temperature, which is 77 degrees or 25 degrees Celsius. The problem isn't just that if you are cold, you feel uncomfortable, the study points out. The problem is that you are distracted. If you're feeling cold, you are using a substantial amount of your energy to, well, keep warm. You've got to minimize multitasking. We all think we can do it. But what you don't realize is that you, you, you're reducing your own productivity by continually doing that. Instead, prepare by focusing on one task at a time and completing that task. It is a good idea to make a checklist. Then you follow it. This way, it will mostly force you to approach your preparation in a single threaded manner, one task at a time. How about you draw a picture? Some people think it sounds odd, but draw a picture of the first thing that pops into your head. This helps you connect to your thoughts. You represent visually what you're thinking. This also has a calming effect on you. By adding some focus and relaxation to the time you spend as you prepare for the next episode, you will see major results. It is akin to what we already discussed about exercise. Leave your workspace for a fun activity. Now, as you prepare, take some time and step away for some fun activity. Shoot some hoops, throw a ball around with some friends, read a book, or play a game. All of these things are going to recharge you and get your juices going again. Go and sit in a park. Find a bench and sit down. Listen to the sounds of nature all around you. Let those sounds transform your mind and let them calm your body. Write down what you're grateful for. Not enough of us do this, no matter what your topic is. Having some positive energy is essential for a good podcast. As you prepare, write down five things you're grateful for. Take your time. Don't phone this in. Be sure to truly flesh out your thoughts. Make sure you understand the exercises and do it right. This attitude of gratitude will seep over into your show and people will find the positive energy that this type of exercise creates and they'll love it. Sometimes this simple act of listing things you're grateful for will trigger even more topics for your show. It's a nice side effect of this type of episode because we can all use more topics for discussion. Why preparation matters? Well, just like with multitasking, many people feel like they can just come to an interview or show and just sit down without any preparation. And it's a horrible idea for so many reasons. Unless you've done hundreds of interviews, failing to prepare is guaranteeing failure. Preparation is especially important for interviews. Choose your interview subject well. Part of your preparation should be choosing a guest based upon their own unique approach. Nobody wants to hear a show where many different people get interviewed, but they all say basically the same thing. That's boring. Spot the unique idea and hone in on it. Bring it out in the interview. Now, make sure to get a good bio, people. Many of your guests will go from show to show talking about the exact same topic. So what makes your interview unique? It's you, the interviewer. Now, get a good bio of your guests ahead of time. It's going to do wonders towards making you have a great interview. A good bio builds reciprocity. Now here's the best part of doing the prep. If you deliver a great bio which tells people what they do, what their services or products are, and how you can get in touch with them, the guest says to themselves, wow, she's done my job for me and she's told everyone about my stuff. Well now I want to give back something to them. You've taken the pressure off your guests. They don't have to leave their brand or their service or their product into the interview, so they start to relax and skip the standard sales pitch or the rehearsed lines. They become more themselves. They also begin to feel like they owe you. If you do something for them, the rule of reciprocity says that they'll want to do something for you. That means getting their game face on and making an effort. You'd be surprised. How many podcast interviewees just turn up on a show and give the same old, same old? But if you surprise them, help them right away, you're likely to get more out of them during the interview. Now prepare a fun opening for your show. 
That's a really essential aspect. By checking out your guests' social profiles, you're going to learn some of the things they've been up to. Use those things to craft a fun opening that guides you into the interview. Now, preparation is going to bring you success. Solid preparation allows you to bring solid success to the table. You will produce much better episodes and won't have as much trouble asking questions. Your interviewer topic will seem much more organized and precise to your listener. That's the entire point of preparation. Thanks for taking the time to listen to Elite Podcast Academy. I'm Mike Mahoney, the founder. Appreciate your time. Mahoney, the founder. Appreciate your time.